So I'm out here at Goathead Farm and it's finally getting to the time of year where it's not too hot in the afternoon and it's perfect at night. And beautiful moon came up. I don't know if it's full. I'm going to check and see if it's not full. I'm going to try to video it coming up tomorrow and do like a time lapse on the, on the moon coming up. And I just watched a fantastic sunset that direction and yeah it's just a perfect night so I'm thinking I'm gonna do a little something different I'm gonna work on the carburetor from Old Yeller uh, which I've only done like seven times so again just something new here um, now in all honesty I decided that I would get the rebuild kit for it. So I had this all apart and what's really happening is I don't have the needle and seat in here and I, I don't know I look back on my old videos and it seems like it was kind of running okay with this carburetor but it was just leaking out of everything so I don't know if this ever was in there or not but I may have lost it or it wasn't in there but what I've done with this carburetor I've replaced all the gaskets and I took it all apart and I didn't rebuild it but I, I cleaned out all the orifices and I I cleaned out where the check balls I guess you would call them I pulled these plugs out and there's jets in there and I'm gonna I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the I don't know if I'll do a full rebuild, but I'm going to do the accelerator pump. I'm going to do the, this is, this is what I really bought it for. You can see it right here is, the, is this, I think you call it a needle and seat. That's where it comes into the float bowl. And I wish I would just order this in the beginning, but I didn't want to use this carburetor because it's not the original carburetor to the truck, I don't think. Although when I look up this carburetor, they put them on international trucks and other things. So... For all I know, this, this was on this truck, uh, even though it says Chrysler. GMC used a lot of different parts back then. It's my belief that this truck came with a Zenith carburetor, and that's what I'd like to get one day. But I, I've i spent so much time on this carburetor, and the, the main thing is that the linkage is set up perfectly for what I have. And if I can get this thing working, I don't have to do all the other stuff. So it's about 30 cents of gas right there. So God, I'm, I'm nervous because I want this to go good and I want to put it on the truck and I want the truck to run and just idle and then accelerate. And I'm going to be positive and think that that's, that's what's going to happen. So wish me luck. So I got this kit from Mike's carburetor parts. I think it has everything I'm going to need. I've bought parts from Mike's before for this carburetor. Well, I bought gaskets, so I'm really regretting not just going this way to, at the beginning because I could have got all this stuff in one shot and rebuilt this carburetor. I think I paid like 40 bucks for the gaskets, and now I got a second set that I'll never use. But that's how I do things. So. Let's see here. This is a Carter Ball BNB 700S. Here's what we'll do. We will unscrew the top of this guy. It's fly season out here at the farm. It's uh, get these cluster flies and they're in the camper and it's crazy. I will get rid of every single one of them and I'll go back in five minutes later and there'll be 20 flies flying around in there. So, so I have already taken this all apart and cleaned all the orifices out and everything. So this guy, you just have to, uh, it's got a little notch on it that lines up with a hole in there, but there's not much to do up here. I'm not going to do a full rebuild on this. So here's the gasket I bought previously. I guess I could go ahead and replace it, but here's what I was really worried about. And I need to go down here and disconnect the accelerator pump down here. And then... I guess I go ahead and take that out. It's going to take me about an hour to remember how that linkage goes back on. I should go ahead and 
go put that on the John Deere. And then the float comes out pretty easy. I'm not going to take the float out. I've already had that out. So I'll leave that in for now. And now I can take the accelerator pump out. And you have to go down, compress that spring, and then it comes out that way. So that's the old accelerator pump. So I'm not really sure. Huh. I guess I have a spare for later, I guess. So what Mike recommends, and Mike has a great video, so if you actually want a video to do this, go to Mike's video, don't use mine, but I hope I'm remembering all this right, but he recommends putting silicone spray on stuff. Let's give it a little squirt. I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. I don't see a reason to replace the check balls, but I'm happy with that because that was my biggest concern. Well, the biggest concern was the where the gas comes in, but so again, compress the spring down with a little notch, turn it, go back up. There's a little check ball down in here, and then they take this off, and there's another one in there. I clean. I've cleaned all this stuff up. This is where you take these plugs out. And I thought I got new plugs with this kit, but I don't see any. No, that's right. You don't get new plugs. He said that. So, I, and I mangled it, taken it out. It didn't look that bad. Usually, it looks more like, um, more like that, but bigger. There's a bunch of them. So I, that actually just comes out, and that ball doesn't come out. But there's once you get in there, you unscrew this. That's the main jet for your. Well, this is your Venturi. I don't know how any of this stuff works, but I'm gonna put this accelerator pump back in. Um, that's the main reason I decided to buy this. I was going to email Mike and say, can I, can I just get this for 20 bucks or something? Because I had, I've got the gaskets, I had the manual already, I got all this stuff. But the other thing is this here, they call it the step up jet, I think, something like that. And, well, let me tighten it back down. It's supposed to travel smoothly and mine shouldn't be that hard to push seeing that it sticks down so you know after I mess with it it seems to work okay but at first it doesn't so I thought well that's probably worth replacing so we'll replace that guy I guess I got to rebuild it now in here there's a spring and there's a little gasket that comes out with it. I have no idea what that gasket does because this goes down in there. I just, I, I don't know, but it needs to be replaced. And so, oh, I guess you don't get all the parts. That's a different spring. So I'm going to use this little black gasket. Boy, I don't know what any of this stuff is for. Oh, man, he sent those little clips. That's beautiful. I need one of those little clips to hold the linkage on. You can see mine is pretty, I got kind of pinched. And I think it's not even a full gasket. So we'll get rid of that guy and we'll put this guy in. Down in here, boy, I don't know what this little spring is for. I don't know what this is for. Hmm. I thought I was going to be replacing this whole thing. But I'm all, all I'm doing is putting a new gasket in. That. It's kind of a bummer. That might have been in there, I guess. I don't even know where this was. I don't remember this. Well, you know, that could be for a different carburetor, I guess. I don't know. Again, uh, go to mikescarburetor.com. Or actually, if, if you happen to have this carburetor, and it's not going to be on a 56 GMC, but it would be on a, uh, I think they're on old DeSoto's. It shows it on some International Harvester grain trucks and stuff like that it says it was manufactured for Chrysler but it's a 700 s and he has I don't know if his is a 700 s but he's got a video that just walks you through this stuff just perfectly so and then is that better I don't know I did not accomplish much there but and this is really what I wanted I believe 
This goes in here. This goes on here. So I will take that guy out. So the problem I was having is this, the float was filling up, the float bowl was filling up and the float was coming up, but it couldn't hold off the pressure from the fuel pump. So this is honestly really all I needed to do is put that back in. So I'm going to uh, I'm put this back together and we're going to go see if we can start her up. Um, I should fill it with gas. Windy, remember that song? Everyone knows it's windy. A song from my childhood, and anytime it's windy out, I start singing. Everyone knows. Everyone knows it's windy. Doom, doom. I bet if your name is Wendy, people would sing that to you. Well, is this my last hurrah with the carburetor? I've now spent more trying to get it running than I could have just bought a new one for. So I bought a I did it with the water pump too. I'm gonna get a real screwdriver. With the water pump and the carburetor, I bought gaskets. Didn't fix anything. Tried to rebuild them without buying a rebuild kit, and I ruined my water pump. Well, I didn't ruin it. I it's I couldn't fix it. But this I did not ruin. I gave up on it. I bought a. I bought this little carburetor over here for 100 bucks on Amazon. That was it's, they sent me the wrong one. It's for a Willys. I should have sent it back. But I just I just wanted to try to get old Yeller running. Just wanted to see if I could get it running. And and that carburetor let me do that. And now I've got a spare carburetor for the next project. And check out this key Molly found. I clean it up. You know what I did forget to do, because you can't do it with the with the top on. Forgot to hook all the linkages up. Oh, and I have a and now I have that little clip for that. That's awesome. So I'll put that clip on there. I think I need this off to get this off so that I can get this on. And even Mike said he can't ever remember how this goes, so I don't feel too bad because every time I do it, and I just did it like five minutes ago. <laughs> It's always good to do things at least three times. I like to check and make sure the accelerator pump is lined up okay before I start. You know, I don't want to have to take this back off. Now I should adjust the float bowl and I actually bent it up a little bit because I was trying to get more pressure onto the close off for the for the inlet. And so I just I thought well I'll bend it up. So it probably needs to go back down, but let's, um, like why wouldn't I check that while I was in there? He's got a little template for it. Cut out and assemble float gauge. Oh, that kind of gets a little too complicated for me. Maybe I should name my channel Measure Once Cut Twice. All right, well. I thought this was going to be a really fun rebuild process and, and kind of an all night deal and, and since that's really all I needed I guess it didn't take much. So let's uh, go put it back in. So I did go ahead and put that little clip back on there. That's awesome that that came in in the kit. And then my accelerator linkage goes to this and pulls down and then opens that which I could clean out a little bit. So last time I put this on, it went to full RPM, and I did some research, and everyone said it's going to be a big vacuum leak. But yeah, I put it on like this, and went full throttle, and of course, because it was full throttle, so once I put the linkage back on, it closed that butterfly, and it idled pretty good, although it just kept leaking gas. So I also thought I'd drop something down in there when I pulled the old carburetor off. So I've got a little set of stubby wrenches which would be so great for this since we're sitting here i checked the master cylinder and it's got it's holding fluid so tightening up that new brake hose seemed to cure that problem so if this carburetor works here which we're going to test out in a few minutes 
we might be able to go for a little cruise tomorrow. Okay. I don't know if you can make those too tight. This is just a vacuum line to the to the distributor, I guess, for timing advance. And then I'm gonna go back here and uh, I'll try to get this. Okay. Getting close. Hope you're as excited as I am. Should have put the old uh, fitting on because it looks funny all shiny brass like that. I'm gonna call that good. That was a oh cool. I think I heard it hit concrete. Yes, it did. This is kind of crazy. It's already leaking. That's great. I guess because I just poured it down there. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to leak. Let's try it, I guess. What else are you going to do on a Thursday night? Haha, <laughs> not even close. Feels not coming in for some reason. It should though. Huh. Well, sometimes the pump needs to be primed. I hate doing that because I gotta suck gas in. Sometimes, though, you can just kind of burp this little guy, too. Gas is not coming in for some reason. It's almost like the um, float is not letting gas come in. So, it might be pulling it apart again because I don't think gas is going in the I don't think it's making it through. Alright. When it's down. This is definitely a problem. I don't know. I should go measure that. I'll have to take it back off. Just try it like that. Oh, All right, let's try it again. Huh. Something ain't right, huh? got that carburetor working 
but I'm more blown away that I bought gaskets and it didn't fix it. So I bought another carburetor and I couldn't get the linkage hooked up to it without a major modification. Went in and cleaned the carburetor all out and tried to get it working again. And it kind of worked. I think that accelerator pump actually worked, which is crazy, but I didn't have this needle and seat in here. And I looked everywhere for it. I don't remember taking it out of there. I don't know where it could have gone, but it had to have been in there when I pulled everything apart. And I'm sure I'll find it someday, although that's a very unique looking piece. I don't recall ever seeing that piece. So maybe there was no needle and seat inside it, of this inlet. So the carburetor is not leaking at all. It revs up nice. I mean, I have a strong feeling that it's going to hold fuel in the bowl. And I'm going to get in this thing in the morning and it's going to start right up. And we're going to go for a drive. I'm going to go in here and turn the key.